This is iFiber One News. Here are today's top stories. The Grant County Sheriff's Office has announced dates for its boating education classes in Moses Lake. An Idaho man survived nearly 24 hours in below freezing temperatures after getting separated from his snowmobile group. The homeless encampment known as The Field was swept and cleaned up in Seattle this week. From the iFiber One newsroom, this is iFiber One News, and it starts now. The Grant County Sheriff's Office has announced dates for its boating education classes in Moses Lake. The Sheriff's Office Marine Unit is offering four free boater education courses on the following dates. March 25th from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., May 20th from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., July 12th and 13th from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m., and October 7th from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. All the classes are held at the Sheriff's Office substation located at 1274 Lowry Street. The classes are free and all materials and testing supplies are provided. The course allows participants to receive their boater education card, which is required in the state to operate motor vessels with at least 15 horsepower. The minimum age to obtain the boater education card is 12 years old. The boater education card is required for anyone born after January 1, 1955. For more information, contact Deputy Wade Hilliard at 509-754-2011, extension 2321. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. And they come down and tell me they found him and he's fine. A relieving moment for family as they learn their son is safe. Found after a night in the elements. Oh my God. The stranded snowmobiler immediately taken to the hospital. Let him get in and get the Preston resident says he was with a group of friends near Liberty Creek when they got separated. When I called for help, I was explained in the wrong place. As the night went on, he knew he needed to find warmth. So I just flipped my sled over and lit it up. After nearly 24 hours. I knew I had to do something to stay warm throughout the night. Signs that crews were searching for him. I'd wake up just hoping it was light every time and it wouldn't be. I'm like, oh. Eventually, they found him in his makeshift cave. Get in there, baby! The 20-year-old now dealing with the consequences, possible frostbite. Might lose some toes, or a toe and some toenails, but that's not too bad. It could be worse. Sleeping in warmth tonight after an experience he'll never forget. Definitely be more prepared. Because I had no supplies with me. All I had was a lighter. I had no food, no drinks, no nothing. The barriers went up early before many in the camp were awake. The warning had been given a week earlier. The camp with its rats is unsafe. Time to go. The conditions here are actually inhumane, to be honest with you. Union Gospel Mission estimated 28 people were left. This morning when they came with all the police, it kind of snapped a lot of people into action, started packing up, but you have some that just don't know where they're going to go. But the city has been adamant offers of temporary housing were made to everyone. We saw many refusing to accept. But did they offer you a place to stay tonight? No, they offered us the resources to find and talk to somebody else at another place, like paperwork with some phone numbers on it. Mike Stewart doesn't have a phone to make that call. He was one of many we saw pack their things and move three blocks away to an overpass near Safeco Field. So you're just going to go right over here because you feel safer over here under the bridge? No, I'm going to go right over there because it's the most convenient thing there is. She and her partner dragged what they could to the same overpass. They say they were told to stay in camp until the city finds them housing. But today, they had to leave. I don't understand that. Why would you do that, Mayor? From the iFiber One Weather Center, I'm Jeff Slikey taking a look at the basin's forecast. Partly cloudy skies and mid-40s for your Monday, the overnight lows are still going to be chilly in the upper 20s to low 30s. Rain on Tuesday, low 40s. Partly cloudy skies on Wednesday and Thursday in the upper 40s. More of the same Friday as we move into the weekend, the chance of rain increases and will be in the mid 40s and low 30s during the overnight. For iFiber One, I'm Jeff Slakey. This is iFiber One News. For more information on these stories and other news, visit us online at iFiberOne.com or check us out on Facebook.